So Visa sponsored us out to New York again. Seriously, if it wasn't so expensive, I would just buy an apartment here at this point. Anyway, the event today is to celebrate the upcoming Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018. They're going to be sponsoring some amazing athletes, some of which are even here today. And this is also my first look at Team USA's official gear and a handful of contactless payment methods that Visa is going to be introducing exclusively for the Winter Olympics next year. All right, check-in time. All they have is VIP, so I guess I'll uh, go with one of those. Next up, the Nigerian women's bobsled team is here, so naturally they hauled a full-sized bobsled into the event. This is authentic, right? This is how it works. So anyway, if they qualify, they would be the first ever bobsled team from the entire continent of Africa, male or female, to compete in the Winter Games. And then right around the corner, we get into what is pretty much the main event. This is the NBC shopping experience, and there are a few noteworthy things here. This is my first look at any Pyeongchang 2018 gear, and they've got an absolute ton of it on display here. They're stuffies of the official mascots and a bunch of really good looking Team USA gear. They've got scarves, the jackets look great, although I have to say I am partial to the toque. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, up beanie. <clears throat> then, once I'm in the shop and I've decided I want to buy something, we get to have a look at a really cool implementation of contactless payment that Visa is showing off here. So, the underlying technology isn't anything new, but now it's built into one of three collectible items to celebrate the Winter Games. There's a pin, which is actually on sale already in South Korea, and a cute little sticker, and this one's really neat. There's actually a pair of payment-enabled gloves that will be available exclusively in South Korea during the Winter Olympics. And then all of them have built-in payment. So I wanted to give you guys a closer look at this, but I'm already getting the evil eye for even lifting up the case that much. These are prototypes, they're not the final version, so they wouldn't let me take them out from under the glass. So what I'll do is I'll show you how it all works with the pin as my demo. Basically, you walk up to any terminal, just like you normally would. Beep. Get the little confirmation animation and boom, you are done. Okay then, so on the surface, these items seem pretty superfluous, especially in a high-tech place like South Korea. But there's actually a bit more to this idea than meets the eye. These souvenirs come pre-loaded with South Korean won. You can just wave your pin or your hand or your sticker at the terminal and off you go with some gear, a nice cup of hot chocolate from the concession stand or whatever else it is that you want. So it's not a replacement for the payment options that already exist. It's just a way of showing off how contactless has the potential to do even more for cashless convenience than the plastic cards that we're using now. So thanks to Visa for sponsoring this trip out here. Thanks to you guys for watching. If you just like this video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured, which would involve a trip to South Korea, but hey, the Winter Games are gonna be there, so that's not such a terrible thing. And uh, hey, while you're down in the description, our merch store is down there with cool shirts like this one. And we've also got our community forum linked. Oh, my VIP badge has turned around, see, VIP.